Welcome to Tech Tips. Today, we'll be changing the lower unit oil on an outboard motor. Changing oil in the lower unit isn't a difficult process, but it's extremely important. The process is the same whether it's a small outboard or a large inboard. We recommend that you're changing the oil every fall for seasonal use people. The first thing you need to do is assemble the proper tools. For this project, all you need is a flat end screwdriver, a drain pan, and a rag. Locate the drain plug and the vent plug. In this case, the drain plug is located here, and the vent oil level plug is here. What you want to do is loosen the vent plug, then you move down to the drain plug and remove that. While it's draining, you can remove the vent plug. While the fluid is draining, it's a good time to check its condition. A milky or creamy appearance would indicate water intrusion, and that means you could have a bad seal. At that point, you need to find the problem before proceeding. The condition of this fluid looks very good, so we're going to proceed. Okay, to refill this lower unit, I'm holding the traditional option. We've got a pump, we've got the traditional gear lube bottle that you find in any parts store. Once we start adding fluid to this, the motor will fill up, and this pump usually results in some type of a mess because the hose is still full of fluid. If the quart runs dry before we're done filling the motor, we have to try and swap another one on there. Anyone who's done this understands that this can be messy. Instead of all that mess, today we'll be using the Amsoil Easy Pack to refill this lower unit. What you need to do first is just snip the end down about an eighth of an inch. So you just want to push, push forward on the Easy Pack a little bit, turn it, and it'll thread itself right into the hole. Once you're threaded in, you're going to gently squeeze on the pack. You'll start pushing oil into the motor, into the lower unit. And then once you see it come out the vent plug on the top, that means it's full. Okay, once it starts pushing out of the top, we're going to put the vent plug back in. Okay, tighten your vent plug. Now you're ready to remove the easy pack and put your drain plug back in. Once the plugs are all tight, clean up any excess oil, and you're done. So there you have it. A few simple steps, and your outboard is ready for another season. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.